Jonathan Edwards, uh, Plaid Cymru, uh, Member of Parliament for Carmarthen East and Dunevor since 2010, now going into my fourth election. Yeah, I was born and raised in the uh, Anthracite Coalfield uh, in the Amman Valley. Uh, my father was a trade union shop steward, so we came from a very uh, political family. He was a big supporter of the Labour Party until the 79 devolution referendum, and then he saw how the Labour Party turned its back on Wales, and then he moved towards, towards Plaid Cymru, became a Plaid Cymru County Councillor. My most vivid memory, of course, as a child uh, would have been the miner's strike. Now, my father wasn't a, a miner, uh, he was an electrician. Uh, however, many of my school friends uh, at the time obviously came from mining families and I saw the devastating impact on, uh, on them as, a, as families. But also, I became acutely aware of the power of the British government over Welsh communities. Following my schooling, I went to Aberystwyth University and there was a Labour government in 97 and one of their first acts was to bring in tuition fees for students. And I saw that as a great betrayal because I knew from my own working class background that had that policy been implemented before I went to university that I would not have been able to afford to go to university. And I then became embroiled in Plaid Cymru politics as well and uh, I found my political home there and it's been uh, you know, a great journey over the last 20 odd years. I had uh, the opportunity to run the first National Assembly campaign for the party in uh, Carmarthenshire, running the campaign for Roger Glyn Thomas in, in the Carmarthen East uh, constituency, which we won. And then after the 2007 election, which we formed the Government of Wales with the Labour Party after uh, that election, uh, I went to work for Citizens Advice and uh, I was quite happy to be outside politics. And then I had that dreaded phone call from Adam saying he was standing down for the 2010 election. And then I had probably you know, a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually go back and serve my home communities uh, and then to serve them also in, in Westminster. It was a huge opportunity and I was lucky to get that. And then uh, I've been uh, serving the people of Carmarthenshire since then. Well, this is definitely a massively pivotal election uh, for Wales, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and this is the, the, you know, the opportunity for people to make sure that Wales matters in Westminster. We know what happens when you send down, when the people of Wales send down Tory and Labour MPs. You know, Wales is an afterthought. There's only one way Wales is going to be on the map in Westminster, and that is if there's a strong contingent of Plaid Cymru MPs down there fighting for Wales every single day. And the second uh, big theme of this election is of, is, of course, Brexit. Whatever happens with Brexit, if we go through the, to the second phase of Brexit, Brexit, there'll be another 10 years of mayhem and chaos in Westminster when we get into the really detailed part of Brexit, the trade negotiations. There's only one way to end the Brexit chaos. So if anybody's fed up with Brexit, vote for Plaid Cymru and we'll be working to end this chaos once and for all.